Okay, so what's the difference, Steve, between an inline midget engine block and a mini engine block? Okay, nothing basically. Oh, well that's okay. it then. <laughs> We've got three here, we'll run through them. This is 1275GT early A series, you'll see casting number 12G1279. That is a mini block, 1275GT pre A+. Okay. Here we have a midget block, and you'll see exactly the same, 12G1279. So the block itself and all the machining is exactly the same. But there are differences. Okay. Okay, we'll spin you over quickly. There and there. It looks okay. a little bit different because this one's got still MED still Just forget the cap on. at the moment. Yeah, okay. Okay. The major difference is here. On a mini, flywheel housing fits. On a midget, the engine plate fits where the gearbox mounts to. Okay, so the gearbox goes on the back of here. On the back, okay. And on the mini, it goes underneath. Underneath. So, you've got to now locate the gearbox so it runs central about the crankshaft. Yeah. So, there are two dowels. One, two. They position the back plate. Yep. Also, there are more mounting holes for the back plate. One, two, three, four extra holes for Which the back plate. You'll see if you look at the mini one. They're not there. No dowel holes and no one, two, three, four holes there. So one, two, three, four holes missing. Also, one, two, three here. This one's not got it on, yep. but what there is is there's a little horseshoe that fits there which has the scroll seal. Okay. That's just been taken off this block for a reason I'll go through later. Now these are getting really scarce, aren't they? The, the midget blocks are. 12 and 5 inline. Yes. So what can you do? Well, what we're doing at the moment, if we're desperate for one, we convert one of these. And what we do is, we set it up on the mill, we dial in, we put the dowels in, we drill the extra holes. The next thing is, you'll notice, flicking back down that way, there are some differences on the sump face also. Biggest difference is the midget has a screw-in oil pickup pipe. Okay. Mini has a plain hole because it has the O-ring and the gearbox clamped down over the top. Sure. But you can drill that out and tap it to make it the same as that. Is that slightly larger then on the inline? That's a larger hole than that one, as you can see straight away. Yeah. yeah. So you can convert that, sorry, that to that. Again, which means you can convert a mini block to a midget. And Another these are thing, a little bit cheaper? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Time you put all the machining on, it's quite expensive. You're just trying to get hold it's of an hours. inline block, isn't it's it? Yeah. The okay. other thing is, you'll notice, this one's got one extra hole here, yeah. and another extra hole here. All right. That's to hold the sump down. On the Mini, we do a conversion for 5 16th sump gasket. Yes. Is that something you do on an inline? Absolute waste of time on an inline, because you've got no pressure on the sump. Yeah. There's no gearbox under it. On the Mini, the gearbox is there and you're trying to stop them separating. On the Midget, it's a sump, so no need. Quarter holes, fine. Okay, and then what have we got on the left here? Okay, this is a converted Mini block. You will see, still the same part number, 12G1279. Yep. This one's got steel caps on. Is that just bolts on there temporarily? What's so, that, these caps? Yeah, they normally go with uh, studs. Yeah, yeah. The, right? the, these are just been bolted on here for when we line bore. We use these as what we call slave bolts. Yeah, just so to get that, it in the right yeah, place. So that we're not talking up and re-talking studs. We use those and then we put brand new ones in when we do the build. Same as, uh, okay. same as that one. Yeah. This one, as you will see now, this has got brand new dowels in here and here. Okay. So this is one we've put on the milling machine, we've dialed in where the holes go, we've drilled them, reamed them, made the dowels, fitted the dowels. We've also drilled one, two, three, four extra holes. Yep. And just there, we've drilled and tapped that one. Okay. And we've drilled and tapped there and there for the sun. What do you think, what, day's work to do that or? Four or five hours at least. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, also you'll notice on this one, we have fitted our rear oil seal conversion. What's that then? Normally a midget, Where's that crankshaft on? There we go. We'll show you this one. We've got the multi-web that we showed you yesterday. Okay. Or I should say, um, Wednesday. Here's a midget multi-web. What you'll see is just here. This is what we call the scroll seal. Okay. And that stops the oil or moves the oil backwards 
from leaking out of the back of the... Because it's quite a known problem, isn't it, on the inline engines? They leak oil. It is a big problem. Now, normally, the main bearing caps clamp around that within four thou, and because that's a very coarse screw thread, it tends to screw, corkscrew the oil back inside the engine. But it doesn't work very well. <laughs> okay. So, we've come up with this, which is two housings with a board counterbore inside. Yep. And inside there fits an oil seal. Okay. When that oil seal is in that housing and those two housings are pushed up so there is no gap between here and here, yeah. that compresses that oil seal by about two thou. Right, okay. Which then pushes the two halves together so it doesn't leak. You'll notice inside then, this works on the scroll seal as it would have done in the original format, but there's also a Teflon coated lip. See it, yeah. And the lip is the seal, and the lip seal runs on this diameter here, which is a plain ground diameter. Yeah. So when you build it, it's quite easy. It's Pop that stuff. straight over. Yeah. Put it in the housing. Nip the housings up. Make sure when you've nipped them up, you've pushed them together, and you must try a thou and a half feeler gauge there and there to make sure there's no gap. The oil seal will definitely seal, yeah. but if there's a gap there, the oil will leak out there. And we've had numerous people phone and say, the seal is leaking, and one guy in particular brought the engine back, we looked at it, and yes, the seal was leaking, because there was a 15 thou gap on that side. Oops. So, But then if you're, you're going to the extent of fitting this kind of modification, you're probably gonna have some engineering knowledge, hopefully. One would, one would hope so, Okay. but I wouldn't guarantee it. <laughs> All right, well, if you get stuck with any of that, just give us a shout. The only other question I had is, can you convert an A-plus mini-engine to an inline? You could, but then obviously you're going to have a different distributor. If you're happy to have an A-plus block, again, the same things will happen. Yeah. You've got to drill and tap, put the extra holes here. Yeah. You've got to drill and dowel this face. But apart from that, yes, it is possible to use an A-plus block. So if you're building like a hill climb midget or something like that, where originality is not that important, then you can go yeah. for it. Yep, yeah, A-plus block. Uh, you can obviously use the marina block, but the downside to the marina block is the oil filter is just here. Yeah. And if you change oil filters at any time, oil drips down all over the engine, all over the chassis and all over the floor, and it's a mess. And that's nasty. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Thanks, Steve. There we go. And we'll be back next week for more.